Hi, I'm Kimberly with the Adult Services Department here at the Wayne County Public Library. And I am here with Lucy Snyder, an author who has come to visit the library. Hello. And we are going to ask her some questions today. First of all, would you like to start off by talking about your new book? Oh, sure. Um, well, I actually have two new books out. Uh, the first book is my new story collection, which is called Garden of Eldritch Delights. Uh, that came out just a couple of weeks ago. The other new book is a, uh, a short story anthology that I co-edited with Michael Bailey, and that's called Cairo Man 4. Um, how did growing up in a house full of books help you become an author? Well, um, in a variety of ways. Uh, for instance, uh, my parents read to me. I think that was really, really critical. Um, every night, you know, I got a story before I went to sleep. So, you know, I was hearing those stories and, you know, valuing story as, you know, kind of an art form. And when you're growing up in a house full of books, you look at the books, you read the books. And uh, for me, particularly, the books that I really enjoyed, I thought, you know what, if I could do this for somebody else, if I could write a book that made me feel the way I'm feeling right now, that would be like really cool. So, you know, it kind of uh, planted the seed really early on that I wanted to write. And I read somewhere that A Wrinkle in Time was a very developmental yeah. book. Yeah, very much so. That was the first science fiction book that I read that really captured my imagination. And I think that. Did, I think that book did that for a lot of people in my generation. You know, we read that book and we're like, wow, this is the coolest thing ever. So that really sort of set me on the path to wanting to write speculative fiction. Now I have a question for you as far as your writing. Yep. Do you prefer to write short stories or do you prefer to write novels? I know you've done both. Right. Um, I don't prefer one yeah. over the other. I do write a lot of short stories. I enjoy writing short stories in particular because you can experiment more with them. If you have an idea that you just want to play around with, it's a lot easier to do that in the short form than it is if you're going to be like, okay, I have this idea I'm not sure of, but I'm going to commit 90,000 words to it. You know. Uh, it's much easier to try different things in short stories because there's much less space. What is it like to co-author with your husband? Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I've heard stories of uh, people who've co-written um, works with friends or relatives where they've had you know huge fights and have massive knockdown drag outs and didn't touch each other afterward. That's not been my experience. We usually sit down and talk about what we want to accomplish with a piece and then one person will do a very quick first draft you know just kind of sketching the whole thing out and then they'll pass it over to the other person and they'll flush it out a bit more and then we just kind of pass it back and forth until the story's done so we have lots of opportunity for true collaboration in that way and it's it's just worked out pretty well um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience in publishing uh, can you be more specific? <laughs> just, just what it's been like all together to get published. Has it been um, very difficult? Is it hard to get that first thing out there? It, it is. Um, well, okay, let me roll it back. Uh, when I was in uh, graduate school the first time, I sold the very first story that I sent out anywhere to the very first place I sent it. Wow. And I was about 19 at that time, and I thought, wow, this is, this is easy. Seven years later, I made my second sale, <laughs> and it wasn't because, you know, I stopped sending things out, but I just happened to hit with that first story. Uh, there's a distressing amount of luck involved in all this, um, and so one of the important lessons, I think, for anybody who aspires to become a published writer is you have to be persistent. You have to persevere in the face of rejection because you're going to get rejected a whole lot. Uh, but anyhow, so I sold my first story when I was 19. Um, I sold my second story you know, years later, and in the intervening time, I'd gone to the Clarion Science Fiction and Fantasy Workshop, and that workshop had really kind of set me on the path of writing short fiction, because that workshop helped me realize that um, short fiction is a very challenging form, but also there's a lot of markets for it. So those two things kind of uh, made me think I'm gonna spend some time writing short stories before I go back to trying to write novels, and um, that's, that's what I ended up doing. Uh, the first 10 story sales that I made were very, very, very difficult. The, um, the 90 sales after that have come much more quickly, and it's been a combination of being better at my craft, but it's also been a matter of the fact that uh, people know who I am, and I have a better sense of the markets now than when I was first starting out. Uh, so it's uh, learning craft, learning ropes, but also being known as a writer. Uh, the, 
there's a thing that happens with a lot of editors is that they'll be looking at several stories in their slush pile that are roughly equivalent in terms of entertainment value, craft quality, things like that. Which one do they pick? You know, how do they make that decision? How do they choose amongst these things that, you know, kind of apples and oranges, but roughly, you know, kind of the same level of quality. Typically, they will go for the one that's written by somebody that they're familiar with, that they think has a built-in audience or somebody that they've worked with before, and that's, that's just human nature, but there is a marketing aspect to that as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the writing workshops that you do for inspiring authors? Oh, sure. Um, for Odyssey Online, I'm uh, uh, doing a workshop on writing descriptions. It's called Riveting Descriptions, and that'll be um, happening in early January. Uh, people can go to the Odyssey Online uh, workshop page and learn more about that. I also teach workshops at uh, conferences, and I often do workshops as part of my work at Seton Hill University in their Master of Fine Arts and Writing Popular Fiction program. I'll teach workshops during residencies. I heard that you helped form an Ohio War Writers Association. Is that true? Well, I'm one of the people who helped kind of put together the local chapter of the War Writers Association, which is an international group. Okay. Um, so basically, we are uh, we are serving writers that are in overall Ohio area, but particularly Central Ohio, and that recently formed up. Um, a couple of months ago, we had our first meeting, and we've had a couple of uh, kind of uh, side events, and then we're having our second meeting in just a couple of weeks. Do you want to tell everybody real quick where it's at in case they want to show up? Um, we're going to be meeting at the Whitehall Library in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and that'll be Sunday, the November 18th at 1 p.m., I believe. But if you go to the HWA Ohio website, if you do a web search on that, you'll find it. You'll be able to find out more information about how to get to the location and things like that. Okay, thank you. Um, do you have any inspiring words for new authors? Uh, and the immortal words of Buzz Lightyear, never give up, never surrender. Like, you know, like I said, seriously, the people who persist in this business are the people who get published. You know, always be reading, always be uh, looking at ways of improving your own work. But don't give up in the face of rejection. Those are the three big things. Um, can you talk about anything you might have upcoming? Do you have any upcoming works to talk about? Oh, sure. I've got um, Tales from the Lake Volume 4 is coming out uh, this coming Friday. And I have a story in that called uh, In the Family that so far has gotten some good uh, press and early reviews. And um, I will have a new novel out uh, from uh, Chaosium Incorporated. Uh, called uh, The Girl with the Star Stained Soul, and that'll be out sometime in March. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. Okay, and inquiring minds want to know what are you dressing up as for Halloween this year? Uh, probably a masked killer, just because that's an easy costume to pull together a black hoodie, a, a strange mask, and uh, you know, grab an axe from the, <laughs> from the garage. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you very much. I, if you want to learn more about me and um, my upcoming publications and events, uh, please go to my website, which is www.lucysnyder.com. That's L-U-C-Y-S-N-Y-D-E-R. Thank you very much.